Hello everyone! This is a special live today. I'm Rachel Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com and I'm going to be bringing to you our 2022 through 24 in colors. Along with that and showing you some new products that come in these new in colors, I'm going to do a color comparison using any of the colors from Stampin' Up's past and present. Um, if you want to type in um, some suggested colors that I compare the current upcoming or the, the new upcoming colors to, just type that in the chat while we're live. If you suggest the colors after we're live, um, sorry, that is the uh, benefit for being live, right? <laughs> So it's so good to see your names pop up on the screen. So many familiar names and some people who I have not seen before. So welcome to my channel. If you do end up liking this video, I would love it if you would not only give it the thumbs up, but you would subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Okay, so on that note, let's go down to the desktop right now and take a peek. I'm going to first show you. This is the current catalog that we are in the 2021 through 22, but notice that it says, um, actually it shouldn't say through April, it's just say through May, <laughs> May 2nd actually. It doesn't go all the way through May, it only starts um, uh, into May for a couple days. And then we move to this catalog. So this is the upcoming new catalog. Um, it begins May 3rd. Uh, 2022 and it includes some new in colors uh, along with lots of other new product too but I'm just going to be focusing on new in color products that we were able to pre-order and then we're going to do the color comparison I cannot open up this catalog yet but I hope that you've been seeing little peaks of card ideas and project ideas that people have been creating with these new products um, fun stuff out there on the interweb as some, uh, I don't know, celebrity person called it one time. All right, let's start with some new products. Um, just some things that have these in colors in them. So, and oh, I do want to mention to you as I'm sharing the new colors and the comparison, I would love it if there's colors that you think of that I might not have out, I can, um, you know, I uh, can just kind of thumb through my color swatches here. I've got them in alphabetical order. Great suggestion. I don't know if that was Trisha Josephs who suggested that to me or someone else, but um, whoever that smart person was, it's making it much easier to find them all. So these, look at these. Aren't they pretty? These little fun um, items are cards and envelopes, and they are featuring the new in colors. Look at little flowers on the bottoms too, on the bottom back. So pretty. <laughs> and, oh, let me show you this side too. So you can see the Sweet Sorbet, the Tahitian Thai, the Orchid Oasis, the uh, Parakeet Party, which is a nice bright green, and then we have the Starry Skies. So I will bring these colors in here so you can see them all. These are the new in colors that we're going to play around with. So you can see Parakeet Party is your green. It's a very bright neon kind of green. We have Sweet Sorbet, which is a, a reddish um sweet red color that's not super red um, it's got a touch of pink to it and then we got starry sky which is a nice um, kind of purpley um, blue uh, it's got a little tinge more blue to it than it does of um, of uh, what do I want to say yeah it just has a tinge more blue to it <laughs> I'm sorry purple to it in the blue than it would um, any other color. It's not greenish blue, is what, I, is what I'm saying. And we have Orchid Oasis. Gosh, I'm already stumbling over my words and we just started. Orchid Oasis is um, more on the purple, light purplish side, but it is a nice pair, as you can see, next to Starry Sky. And then we have Tahitian Tide, which reminds us all of Tempting Turquoise, which we had years ago. So these cards and envelopes are called the tea boutique cards and envelopes and they're going to be part of a suite um, with some teacup images and stuff like that so you'll want to get your hands on them because they are super super fun and then we have some paper in that suite that I can pull out that also features these new in colors and this paper is called tea boutique six by six designer paper it not only includes the um, new in colors but it also has crumb cake crushed curry fresh freesia garden green um petal pink there you go so you can kind of see what's going on here cute six by six images 
the front side is more of a dominant or an A side image and then you have your B side of the paper which is more of a, a subtle background type of paper. Fun. See all the little cute teacups in there and then there's flowers of course because you have to have flowers with teacups. <laughs> oh I like that one. That's cute. Very fun. Oh and look at that. Lots of envelopes with flowers coming out. Hey, Brina. Brina, by the way, um, if you see her name popped up in the uh, YouTube comments, I think it's YouTube that's coming in with uh, the, let's see here, I'm just going to scroll because I'm not seeing any blue comments yet. I hope that we're live on Facebook. Shoot. Well, anyways, <laughs> Brina has been very helpful over the past few years. She is like a color expert. So um, she's been giving me lots of tips and ideas and stuff like that. Um, okay, what else do we have for new in color product? So thank you, Brina. Um, we have these glitter sheets. Look at this. So these are um, like a, a light to dark. Um, uh, what would that be? Is that ombre where you're using one color light to dark? And you can see that it's in all the new in colors. So we have again Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, and Orchid Oasis. Very, very fun. I can't wait to play with these because I'm a glitter girl. And then we have, and again, that was uh, 2022 through 24 in color glimmer paper. Did I saw, say glitter? It's glimmer with an M. And then we have our six by six designer series paper. And we usually have um, sets of these papers in all the families. So you will find in the catalog also um, 2021 through 23 in colors in these patterns and designs and then you'll see the brights the neutrals the regals and the subtles the regals the <laughs> yeah the regals oh my gosh I've been a demonstrator for 22 years you guys so sometimes I question if I'm saying something current or something old <laughs> a lot of you can probably empathize with me if you've been around with Stampin' Up! products for a long time, whether you're a demonstrator or not, right? You're loving the sparkle. I am too. So fun. Okay, so these are the patterns that you see. There are polka dots, and the polka dots, if you look carefully, some of them look like they're closer, and some look like they're further away because they're, they're muted or softer, um, kind of like a shade lighter, you know what I mean? Um, so it looks like more 3D polka dot paper than we've had in the past. We've got a plaid design and then we've got the stripe, but this stripe, this stripe has miniature little stripes in it here. If I zoom in, go this way instead, you might be able to see them better because of the lighting and I'll hold really still. So there's tiny little stripes that connect between the stripes like little diagonal connections. You may see it on a different color better. And then we have florals. Well, there's more than flowers in there. There's little polka dots, there's um, X's, there's leaves. Um, yeah, squiggles. Is there squiggles in there? I thought I saw squiggles yesterday. And then here we have the parakeet party and the flip side of that and the lines and the flowers. Orchid oasis, polka dots, plaid, the lines and we have Tahitian Tide. You guys are going to have these colors memorized by the time we're done with this video if you haven't already. Um, stripes and the flowers and then we have, oh and they're in different order, sorry. The plaid, the polka dots, sweet sorbet, this is the sweet sorbet color and then there are the lines. So, all right. Fun. Yes, they would be perfect. The plaid, definitely. Um, we always think, I don't know why we relate plaid to um, masculine cards. Maybe because guys tend to wear more plaid? I don't know. Have you seen though the trends? The trends are that plaid is in. So everybody's wearing plaid lately. Everyone, teenage wise, is also wearing pajama bottoms um, to school. Like um, cozy flannel pajama bottoms. So if you see kids walking around in what looks like pajamas, it's actually the trend, you guys. I remember, though, that this is actually better than when I was a teenager. Teenagers, when I was a teenager, um, back in the late 80s, we wore boxer shorts. <laughs> Just boxer shorts, as if they were shorts. I don't know. 
Um, there you go. So there are the markers. We have all the colors in the blends markers. So you'll be able to get blends markers in all of them. And then of course we have the stamp and write markers. So your alcohol based and your water based markers. Um, oh, this is fun. This is another product that we have in the in colors. Um, I have something else that's coming today because I overnighted it, but I don't think it arrived yet. I should look at my email. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just going to peek to see if it got dropped off because if it did, I might have to yell up to my son. No, it hasn't been dropped off yet. Okay, bummer. Bummer, bummer, peanut butter. I know it doesn't rhyme, but I say that all the time. Okay, here we have um, these glittery ribbons. These are called metallic woven ribbons. Now, they don't look super close to these colors. If you compare, you can see that there's um, like multiple shades of greens in the Parakeet Party Metallic Ribbon. Um, there's multiple shades in the Tahitian Tide. So play around with these. We discovered this last night in our team live that these, or yesterday I should say, that these ribbons actually could probably coordinate with lots of other Stampin' Up! colors that you have on hand because they have that glittery aspect to them. And so there's like multiple color, you know, tones that you see in there, multiple shades of the colors. Oh, and one more thing about these is that you can widen them. So they're kind of like our copper ribbon we used to have a while back. I want to say it was a couple or two, two or three years ago, we had a copper one where you could do the same thing, where you can go like this. And do you see what I'm doing here? I'm going to zoom in. So I've widened it. So if you want um, a larger width on your ribbon, you could totally do that. It just, it's going to cinch up on you once you pull it again. Um, but yeah, and it ties real nice and it lays real flat. All right, what else do we have in these colors? We have, of course, the ink pads. So you can get, of course, all of the ink pads. Now on the back side, a lot of people who are new to Stampin' Up! products don't know this, but you can flip them over and there is this sticker sheet that you can peel off. So here, if I just peel this away, you can see it better. All of these are little tiny stickers. Stick that over there. So when you open up your ink pad, I like to put one of these solid color ones, and they give, they've given us two now, which is kind of cool. But I like to take and put one of them, and can you see what I'm doing? Yes. Inside this portion of the ink pad right here. So that when I am Working with the ink, I can look here and I can see a more true color. This is always a little bit different looking than the actual color, but if you look here, you can see more of a true color of the ink pad. And then you can take and pick whatever, whatever um, words work with your language, and you can just apply that to this portion of the ink pad so that when you have them in your stack on your wall, you know what I mean? Like wherever you store your ink pads, you can see the colors from the side. So those are our ink pad colors. And it's time, oh, one more thing. One more thing that I wanna show you. So anyways, there's a lot more products um, that are in these in colors. I just don't have them all um, because part of the pre-order, sorry, still coming out a little bit here. Part of the pre-order was not available until like a day later or later in the day after I had placed my expedited order to get most of this stuff. And so I expedited it again, but it's not coming until today, <laughs> which, which might not show up at all before our live. I was hoping it would. You can get eight and a half by 11 and you can get 12 by 12 cardstock in these new in colors too. All right, so it's time. It's time, you guys, it's time. And I'm so sad because I don't think this is going live on my page at all, you guys. Um, can anybody, well, you know what? I'm just going to click over to Facebook and see if I can take a quick peek. Um, I'm just going to roll over there quickly, but let's start by looking at, we're going to start with Tahitian Tide. Okay. So let's zoom in. Tahitian Tide. First of all, it's a capital T. 
not only because it's the name of the color, but um, it describes uh, a location on Earth that thinks, well, it's isn't Tahiti a place? Yes, Tahiti is a place. And so, so Tahitian would be from Tahiti, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so we have Tahitian hot tide. I was, and the only reason why I brought that up is because I was typing all the colors in lowercase and this one like automatically with a word document capitalized and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> it's a capital word. Okay, so the first color that you're thinking of is probably tempting turquoise, right? They're pretty darn close to each other, but not real close in that tempting turquoise is slightly more on the warmer side, um, more muted, more, it's, this one's brighter. It has a lot more white or light to it, if, you, if that makes sense. Um, and this has a more warmer kind of tone to it. Um, but still, if you're, if you're missing Tempting Turquoise, this might be a great substitution for it. Plus, this is the only color besides Tempting Turquoise that seemed to look in this direction of blue. Like in the past Stampin' Up! colors, um, I have not seen a lot of blues that go in this direction. So we have ones that are more like on the, the you know, kind of greenish blue side, like these colors here are more on the greenish blue side. So let's take a, a look at each of these. First, let's start with, um, let's start with current colors. So we have Bermuda Bay, which is a current color. So Bermuda Bay is definitely more green. Um, someone suggested I do this last year and I forgot to do it. Let's do that with Tempting Turquoise too. So here's Tempting Turquoise behind and in front. Okay. So Bermuda Bay is definitely more on the greener side of, um, of these, these bluish green colors. Tahitian Tide isn't super green, if you can see. It's more on the very light, um, it's like a blue that's light but has only like a small amount of yellow to it, if that makes sense, to make it greener. Um, then we have Coastal Cabana. Coastal Cabana, I mean, you know, Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana, um, Pool Party, which is super light. Those are our greenish blues that look really good with ocean colors, right? Um, and then we have our Coastal Cabana compared to Tahitian Tide. Definitely different. They are sure looking green against this blue, aren't they? Um, yes, you know what? This blue definitely would look good with ocean stuff too. Yes, de definitely, Nancy. Um, Marina Mist might be darker, but similar. You know what? I did not pull out Marina Mist. Marina Mist, I can grab really quick. Marina Mist is, yeah, so that's more of a grayer kind of um, blue. It's got some gray tones to it. Um, but, um, yeah, and, and, and more like a softer color. This is brighter. This is darker, like more relaxed. Um, okay. And then we have Pacific Point. Pacific Point and Tahitian Tide, I think, look really great together. Um, they complement each other pretty well. This is also a current color. Marina Mist. Is that a current color? <laughs> I don't think so. Is it? You guys tell me. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm kind of... Um, going to get lost in what's current and what's not. That's what I always do. Um, then we have Balmy Blue. Balmy Blue is current. It definitely looks, um, I don't know, really like not so blue compared to it. But when you look at it with Pacific Point, um, it definitely looks more like a blue. It's crazy. So this blue is whiter, grayer, um, you know, kind of dustier looking. And then we have Tahitian Tide, which is just bright. It's bright, bright, bright. Nothing's comparing to it, really, except for Tempting Turquoise. Taken with Teal. Remember that color from a while back? Taken with Teal, kind of compared to our Bermuda Bay. Pretty close. Um, but Taken with Teal, definitely more on the <clears throat> the greener of the, the turquoise color. And then we have Cool Caribbean, which was an older... Um, color kind of like pool party let me pull out i'm sorry cool caribbean is current let me grab pool party i'm stumbling today you guys <laughs> i had you know what it was i had these colors separate but what was current and what wasn't current and uh then we brought in the marina mist 
Tell me, you guys. I'm going to scroll back in the comments. <laughs> Mariana Mess might be darker, but similar. Um, looking for anybody who is confirming. <laughs> Why can't I think of it? Oh, my goodness, Rachel. Just pull out the catalog. Let's look at the current colors. Because you're wasting time. <laughs> this is the current catalog, all marked up with what's retiring and what's not. I can share the current catalog. Here we go. Yeah, Marina Mist is gone. What am I talking about, Rachel? Okay. Um, pool Party, Cool Caribbean, greener, bluer, but I always thought that those were very um, comparable. They're both current colors, right? <laughs> right? Yes. No, Coastal Cabana. <laughs> oh my God, Rachel. There it is. <sighs> These are the current ones. This is not current. This is not current. There, we're done. I don't know why I'm still doubting myself. Okay, so there's Tahitian Tide color comparisons. I really, I really made a lot of mistakes on those, didn't I? But I would say Tempting Turquoise would be your closest. I will have a photograph of all of these. Are there any other suggestions for um, comparisons? Cool Caribbean, thank you. It is retired. Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight, I do have um, set out here. I have for color comparison with um, with the, sorry, let me grab that, with the Starry Sky one. Let me pull that over here. Misty Moonlight is very dark and dusty. Okay, so there's Misty Moonlight. I'm going to keep that over there, though, so I don't forget it. Um, any others that we're recommending that I do? <laughs> Thank you. I just need someone here to say, oh, somebody wants to see Lost Lagoon. Okay, I saw that comment too. Lost Lagoon. I just need someone here to, you know, confirm that things are current or not current because that's where I really mess up. Here's Lost Lagoon, very green and gray. There we go. There's the comparison with those two. All right, any others? <laughs> All right, super duper. Okay, we're gonna set these aside. And I might dive into them again if I'm gonna be looking for, in fact, I should probably pull in the pool party one or Pacific Point, that's what I wanna pull in. I'm gonna put that over here. Okay, let's look at the purplish color called Orchid Oasis, which is a very blue purple. Um, it's more on the blue side than the red side, but you can see a tint of, of, of reddishness to it, um, which is why I consider it more purple. I don't know why, but there we go. Orchid Oasis. And if we look at current purples, we'll just start with the current purples. You can see the difference between Highland Heather and Orchid Oasis. Huge difference. Much redder purple, very light in, in um, color, um, a brighter, purple and then we have the darker one which these two complement each other so gorgeous grape also current but again a more redder uh, truer type of purple um, as far as colors that I thought were pretty close I thought ballet blue was um, pretty close to orchid oasis um, it's it's whiter in, in like a brighter whiter type of version um, it's actually more on the bluer side, too. It doesn't have that tint of red that you see in Orchid Oasis. Um, so that's, I don't know, I'm still thinking Orchid is more purple than I, than I think of it as blue. But I thought these two were pretty close. And then we have Orchid Opulence, one of our orchids from a long time ago. Definitely more red um, than anything on the, on the purple colors uh, combination when you put blue and, and red together to get purple it's definitely more red than any um, but yeah you can see those orchids are totally different from each other wisteria wonder that was a suggestion and very dusty um, very gray very muted very um, what's the color what's the word that i want to pull out here it's uh the, the value of it, <laughs> is that the word? I, I've been getting some um, education on using terms that people who talk about color use, but I'm trying to use more layman's terms, things that I would understand too. <laughs> but yeah, there's value, there's hue, there's chroma, there's all these different words that we could pull out, but then I might confuse all of you. 
Um, plus, I don't know all that stuff um, anymore. I used to take art classes all the time, and I don't remember it. But yeah, this is definitely dustier, as you can see. Grayer. Um, lovely lilac. That's a pretty good comparison as far as like um, the intensity of the color seems to be uh, pretty much the same. Like if you were to black and white this out, these two would probably right, be right next to each other. Um, but more red in the lovely lilac. And then here's lavender lace, an older color, um, brighter, more red than you are pinkish tones, I would say. Okay, I am going to scroll through really quick. Um, someone suggested Ballet Blue. I did do the color comparison with Ballet Blue already. Brilliant Blue, very dark, but I can pull that in. Actually, that's a good suggestion to compare. There you go. Brilliant Blue, um, I think, is really close to the starry sky also. But yes, I could see these two being used together, although this one still has more of a, a pinker tone to it. Um, let me keep scrolling here. Lavender blueberry, blueberry, blueberry bushel. Um, that one is also over here. There's blueberry bushel. That's, this is more of a greener kind of blue. It's got some green tones to it, undertones. Um, Wisteria wonder, anything else? Um, just scrolling through here. Vintage violet, somebody wants me to compare to vintage violet, okay. Um, and Wisteria Wonder. Here's almost Amethyst. That one's right at the top. Uh, vintage Violet. I might have pulled that one out already. No, nope, I don't think so. Here's Vintage Violet. And what was the other one? Wisteria Wonder. Wisteria. Wisteria. Did I? Oh, I did Wisteria Wonder. I already did Wisteria Wonder. Okay. All right, all right, so we have Almost Amethyst, which could be a lighter version of Orchid Oasis. <clears throat> like if you stamped off multiple times, because I feel like this is definitely a, a purple, but it's more on the bluer side. Um, and, uh, you know, not a, lot of, not a lot of reds in it, just like this. Um, but uh, yeah, so I could see those working together if you still have both of them. Vintage Violet, ooh very grayish feeling compared to the Orchid Oasis. Definitely darker also. We'll stick that over there. And let's see, any others? Elegant eggplant. Okay, let me pull that one out. That one's definitely a redder purple, but I will pull that out. Um, elegant eggplant. And on that note, I might as well pull out eggplant envy too, because you might ask about those, but these are definitely redder types of purples, if that helps. Okay, so thanks you guys. Hi Karen, hi Nancy, hi Sandy. <laughs> so fun to see names that are familiar. All right, so hopefully that helped you out, okay? So that is Orchid Oasis. Let's move on to um, Starry Sky now. Starry Sky Let's compare Starry Sky, and now I don't have my current colors. <laughs> well, that one's current, that one's current. These are not. Okay, so let's start with current colors. Um, this one's actually leaving us, Misty Moonlight. Very dusty, kind of denim-looking blue. Um, more like an aged denim. But there's the difference there. Grayer, muted, right? This is a bright blue. And did I tell you already that these two would look great together? So when you're pairing up layers of cardstock, definitely if you're gonna get one of these new colors, get the other one. Um, that, yeah, I would recommend that. I just saw another recommendation. Let me pull it out. Purple Posy. So there you go. How's that? Rose and Kathy suggested that. Fresh Freesia, you want me to compare that one too? So this is Purple Posy, Fresh Freesia. So these are all very um, reddish purples, by the way, but there you go. Almost to the point where it's pink, you know? You don't see much blue in that. Okay, um, so 
Then we look at starry sky compared to Pacific Point, another current blue. Okay, this is, is a kind of a little greenish color tone to it. This is more of a um, reddish tone to it. And then we have Night of Navy, which is very deep and dark. Um, yeah. So there you go. Starry sky is, is brighter. I don't know if I would layer these together. I'm looking at them going, hmm, yeah, I don't know about that. Just because this one is, is more dusty, more, I always say dusty, like a grayish tone. Like it's, it's not a bright color. It's very dark. Um, as if somebody just kind of put a piece of vellum over it to to take away color, to take away hue. <laughs> okay, let's look at um, some colors that have left us. The first one that I thought of that it would be close to would be Brilliant Blue. Do you remember Brilliant Blue from years back? So Brilliant Blue, you can see the difference here. This has more of a reddish tone to it, so it's got a little bit of purple like our Orchid Oasis. It's a purpler blue. Um, this is more of a true blue. Brilliant blue. That was our true bright blue. But there you go. There's the difference between those two. Okay, this is definitely lighter also. Lighter, brighter. Vintage violet. Since that one was suggestion, I thought I'd br bring it in. Very dusty gray violet color. Almost to the point where it's not even, not even purple. <laughs> It's very gray. Here's blueberry bushel, another one that I thought it would be close to. So if we look at all three of these together, blueberry bushel, brilliant blue, starry sky. It's almost like blue is in, uh, brilliant blue is in the middle, and then you add a little bit of green to it, and it turns to blueberry bushel. You add a little bit of red to it, and it turns to starry sky. That's how I would describe those. They're the closest ones. I would say those are the closest comparisons. And then we might as well bring in Concord Crush. Concord Crush is a purple, um, a very a redder type of um, shade or hue. Uh, and it's, um, so I would definitely consider this purple more so than blue. But, um, but it's, it's uh, next to Starry Sky, it definitely looks redder, um, darker. Um, dustier, my own term that I made up maybe. Here's Midnight Muse, a greener type of blue. So, Midnight Muse, almost like jeans. You know, these two would look good together, by the way. If you still have those colors, those would be paired up real nicely, I think. Anyways, okay, so there's Starry Sky. All right, let us move on to, oh wait, should I check to see if there were any suggestions? Let me just peek here. Blueberry bushel, Midnight Muse. Did I, um, did I just do that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Parakeet Party. You guys know how I love my greens. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, it's another green. I love greens. Um, this made me think of green galore right away but it's definitely more fluorescent. It's super bright. It is, um, oh gosh, um, just it's an in your face kind of color <laughs> if you want to describe it. But if you like greens and you like bright colors, this one definitely needs to be in your stash. So let's just start with a couple colors that were in the past. Green Galore, I don't know why, but this was the first one I thought of. You can see a huge difference. Parakeet Party has a much more yellow tone to it. Um, it's almost closer to a yellow than it is. I saw Dapper Denim, yes. Let me look to see if I can find Dapper Denim, sorry. Um, dapper, it's in here. Okay, someone wants me to compare Dapper Denim to the blues. So there's Dapper Denim. Greener. Yeah, it's a green color. Hmm, would those go good together? <laughs> so there you go. Um, back to the greens. We had, it's a safety green. Yes, it is, Christine. This is one of those greens that you would wear on your 
um, clothing if you're out working uh, in the outdoors near v near traffic or whatever. Yes, it's definitely a safety green. And yes, I see the colors that you guys are pulling up. Those are going to be compared next. So green galore is calmer. <laughs> and it's, um, yeah, it's definitely not parakeet party. So now we bring in another past color, lemon lime twist. I would say it's closer to lemon lime twist than it was to green galore. Lemon lime twist has even more yellow to it. So I would, if I looked at that separately, I would say it's a yellow with a bit of green. This one I would say it's green with a lot of yellow. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, this is brighter. Um, this has more kind of calm calmness to it. I mean, if you could call lemon lime twist calmer, but um, yeah, there's that. And then we have luscious lime, luscious lime. Oh, Lucky Limeade. I got to pull that one in. I don't have that one out. Why do I not have Lucky Limeade out? Maybe because it was dark. Let me find it. Oh yeah, it's darker. It's more like an old olive, but I will pull that out. Okay, so here's Luscious Lime, even yellower. So if we ranked these in order of the amount of yellowness, I would say Luscious Lime has the most, if that makes sense. So there we go. A little comparison between the three of them that way. Okay, so those are past colors. A current color that we have is Granny Apple Green. Granny Apple Green looks super dark compared to Parakeet Party. And I thought maybe these two would be kind of close. But I would say that they would work well together if you wanted to um, pair up Parakeet Party with another current color. I would say it would work way better than it would if you were to pair it up with um, the old green galore. <laughs> but Granny Apple Green and Parakeet Party both have probably about the same amount of yellow, th yellow to them, but this one's darker, um, more kind of it has some gray added to it to darken it up a bit, right? So, um, so there you go. So those would pair up nicely. And this is current. And then we have um, Pear Pizzazz, which is also current, but definitely more dusty brownie, um, you know, calm. It's, it's a uh, it's, it's not a bright color. We'll just say that. So we call yellow and green. Okay. What does this say? My hubs is in construction. We call safety yellow and green. One calls it safety green. The other one calls it safety yellow, <laughs> but we're both looking at the same shirt. I know, right? Sometimes it's your eye. It's what you see. Um, okay. I'm seeing some suggestions here. Sorry. I'm seeing Kiwi kiss. I have that one. Lemon lime twist did that. Um, certainly celery. Okay. So let me pull in Lucky Limeade. Certainly celery I didn't think of either, probably because it wasn't quite close. But let's pull that one out. Okay, so here we've done these comparisons so far. Let's look at Certainly Celery. Certainly Celery, um, I always thought was like a lighter version of Pear Pizzazz. Just has a little bit more brightness to it. These two go, go, go well together. Um, and then we have Lucky Limeade. Lucky Limeade is way more brown. Way more brown is in, in Lucky Limeade. It's almost like Granny Apple Green with brown added to it. <laughs> Don't you think? All right, let's look at Kiwi Kiss, which I think is even yellower than Lucky Limeade. Um, so we brought... <laughs> We brought in Kiwi Kiss. Was it Kiwi Kiss last, uh, yesterday? I think it was. Any demonstrators that are on with me that were watching the live that we did in our team yesterday, um, I think it was Kiwi Kiss where, or maybe it was Lucky Limeade. I don't know, one of the two, where I held it up and I was like, ew. <laughs> it just does not look pleasant next to Parakeet Party. This, this color could look good by itself. Or, or with colors that it should go with. But when you put it next to something bright and really cheerful like that, it makes you, I don't, you know what I mean. It just does not look pleasant. Okay, Gable Green. I'm bringing that one out just because, oh, there we go. Poppy suggested it. I'm bringing this one out just because um, it paired really well with Green Galore back in the day. These two were partners. They held hands in many projects together, right? Always paired those up and they were, were current at the same time. Um, but you can see, even though it's a lighter version, like, you know, Parakeet Party's lighter than Green Galore, it's lighter in that it has more white added to it, but it's um, definitely in the um, cooler tone, 
This is more of a ye yellow, warmer tone. Those are two words I keep forgetting to use, cooler and warmer. Okay, wild wasabi. There's that comparison. Some of you wanted that. And now I'm going to peek at the comments. Um, Kiwi Kiss and Lucky Limeade look more like Old Olive. Yes, a yellower, browner kind of green. I would definitely, um, definitely uh, agree with you on that. Um, and I love this. Some of you are reminiscing. Um, and then North Star Stamper says, I do not remember Luscious Lime. <laughs> so <laughs> funny. And I'm being patient with you. Oh, so you're, you're so sweet. I feel like you guys are being patient with me because sometimes I'm stumbling over my words. Um, but thank you for the sweet comment. <laughs> All right. And yes, you know what, Dolores, we're having some dreary weather here as well. And looking at colors does cheer us up, doesn't it? Okay. I'm going to move these greens aside. I don't see any other suggestions right now. So I'm going to bring in our last color, which is Sweet Sorbet. Sweet Sorbet. We have a ton of reds. We do, you guys. So this one might take a little longer. Um, Luscious Lime, I don't even know. I don't even know because um, I didn't date the backs of my cards. Um, but yeah, Luscious Lime was a color. <laughs> I don't have any dates. I should. That would be like a whole week long job of looking up past catalogs and trying to figure out how long those colors were um, present to and from. Sweet Sorbet, it's a really nice red. Um, it makes me think of Watermelon Wonder right away. So Watermelon Wonder, let's just bring that one back from a long time ago. That was the first one that I thought of and you can see the difference there. And as I'm letting you look at that, I see another color suggestion come up. Pistachio Pudding. Let's bring in Pistachio Pudding. Hmm. Piece of lint. There's Pistachio Pudding against Parakeet Party. Pistachio Pudding very subdued, very um, non-bright. <laughs> it's, it's got some white added to it, but it's more a dustier kind of um, green, kind of gray green, you know? Okay, Watermelon Wonder. And another one that I thought might be close is Poppy Parade, which is current. So these colors I could see being compared to like the Paper Pumpkin Kit colors. When we didn't have Poppy Parade for a while, because it was an in color and then it came back, um, Watermelon Wonder kind of took its place for things that I was doing Paper Pumpkin related, because I love Paper Pumpkin. And, um, and uh, you can see that it's like a, a lighter shade of Poppy Parade. So Sweet Sorbet, I don't know if I'd necessarily think of it as Paper Pumpkin now that I compare it to these two, because this one has a more pink tone to it. Um, bluer maybe if that's what you want to want to say has some more blue undertones to it um and these are definitely more on the warmer side this is cooler these are cooler i should say so there you have poppy parade watermelon wonder let's look at another current color real red Ooh, these would look good together very good together so i would suggest um because they're both going to be current while well, real red is current now i would definitely suggest pairing sweet sorbet with real red it's like a lighter stamped off version of real red um some other current colors we have flirty flamingo um yeah flirty flamingo has um more of a warmer even warmer tone than sweet sorbet i would say i don't know would you use that with together you could i suppose i don't know um cherry cobbler darker version with those two. Oh, those two might look good together too yeah so there's cherry cobbler and then we have calypso coral which is definitely orangier especially compared to sweet sorbet definitely orangier pink um, I would say it's an orange with a tinge of pink. <laughs> so if we want to go back to that kind of conversation. And then here's Melon Mambo. Ooh, very, um, very cool pink, like cold, cold, cooler, colder tones to it. Bluer tones, undertones to it, right? Okay, those are current ones. And I saw some of you throwing out some colors here. One of the ones that I keep seeing suggested is Strawberry Slush. Strawberry Slush is um, cooler, lighter, um, but you know, kind of has that candy feel to it still, like you'd want to eat it. 
I guess because they both have food names in them, sorbet and strawberry, right? So, so there you go. There's the comparison there. This is a cooler pink, um, brighter, whiter. We have Rocket Red. I know some of you were suggesting Rocket Red, and I would say that Rocket Red and Sweet Sorbet look pretty good together too. Um, this is warmer though, I have to tell you. It's a, definitely a warmer color than our Real Red. So if you had to choose between the two, I would say that Real Red would pair up with Sweet Sorbet. It's like Sweet Sorbet is still a lighter shade of Real Red, and Rocket Red, um, I think what it is is it's the intensity of the color. Like again, if you were to put these on black and white, it would look pretty comparable. Um, it's hard to see in the camera though. The color in the camera, like this one looks deeper. Ruby red. Oh yeah, I do have ruby red out. I'm like, ruby red, wow. There's ruby red. There you go. Ruby red and sweet sorbet. Browner. More subdued, darker, right? Um, how about, let's look at some more purplish or cooler tones of pink. So we have rose red. So now this one looks really warm in comparison, doesn't it? You know, the problem, so here's what's gonna, here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna have this go into a blog post um, so that the video is landed in my blog, in my website. So you'll wanna come back to stampyourartout.com at four o'clock, which is a little over four hours from now. So four o'clock central time and um, the link is in the description so then when you click on it and you go there um, you'll be able to see the video and you'll be able to see photos of the colors next to each other but i will tell you that photographing these as true as i can to the actual colors is really hard to do um because i mean when i'm taking a picture of a card it's not as big of a deal if you're slightly off but when you're doing a color comparison you want to be as accurate as possible so i am going to take that time between now and four o'clock to photo, edit, watermark, upload, um, then write the blog posts. And so <laughs> that's why that's why there's this big span of time. Um, and so that's why your color suggestions help because wh what I've done in years past is I've just done the color comparison with um, the colors that I had. I took pictures of them before and then it's like, oh shoot, that would have been a good one to compare to. So there we go. Those ro rose red and sweet sorbet, I had those held up way too long. How about primrose petals? So primrose petals with sweet sorbet, grayer, dustier, um, calmer, bluer, right? cooler okay here's another cooler tone rose romance cooler in that it has more blue in it than than um than the oh, what am i thinking of like a oh if you look at the color wheel we have um the yellow i'm sorry yellows and the um purples right on the either side so this have, has more of a warmer side to it so it's got more yellow to it that's what i want to say and this has more blue to it. Okay. Um, or purple. <laughs> Let's look at Rococo Rose. I am stumbling today. You know what it is? I've had three hot flashes during this video. <laughs> I am in that stage of my life now. All of a sudden I'm starting to get these hot flashes and they throw me off. Holy cow. Okay, Rococo Rose. <laughs> Sweet sorbet. Yes, Rachel, you just shared that to all of YouTube. Oh well. And Facebook, if we're on there, I still can't even tell if we're on Facebook, you guys. I haven't looked over there. And I keep looking at the comments. All right, so here's Sweet Sorbet against Rococo Rose, which looks very gray in comparison. Very cool. A lighter, obviously, version of a red, but cooler and grayer. And then we have um, Cameo Coral and Sweet Sorbet. Cameo Coral, that's an old coral that we used to have. I loved this coral. Um, I, I love it, I love it. I have to admit, I love it more than our Calypso coral. <laughs> um, it just was a, I don't, I don't know, I like the pinkness of it, but Sweet Sorbet and Cameo Coral, there you go. There's the comparison. Now I'm gonna thumb through and look <laughs> to see, um, looking at this here. Oh, thanks, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, we have empathizers. Oh, you guys are sweet. I'm peeking to see rose red. Did we do rose red? Did we do rose red? 
I thought we did. Yes, we did. We did rose red. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Peeking, peeking, peeking. It looks like I covered all the ones you guys suggested. If I did not, um, go ahead and shout them out. And you know what? So Deidre, she says, hot flashes are horrible. Mine are not real horrible. They just, um, which is good. I should be lucky. But, you know, they, they kind of throw me off. Like, all of a sudden, I get one. And it tends to be when I'm more stressed. And it's not like a bad stress. It's just like um, like I'm, I'm anxious because I said something stupid in the video. So then all of a sudden, a hot flash comes. <laughs> So it's funny. It's more funny to me than anything. And I do feel it in my head. I don't know. It's weird. Like my whole top of my scalp gets warm. Berry Burst. Oh, let's look at that one. And I, I'm patting you on the back. How do I say your name? Is it Gailey? Um, I'm patting you on the back because you were saying that you might not be able to say the colors in English earlier. I did catch that comment. So Berry Burst. Let's take a peek at that one. Very burst, very purple, very blue. But there's that comparison. Fun, 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 fun. Watermelon Wonder, I think I did that one at the beginning. Yes, I did. Okay, under pressure, there we go. Not stress, but just under pressure. Yes, if I need to get something done fast or whatever. There's your Watermelon Wonder. There are a lot of colors. We have a ton of colors over the years. and. Um, I tell you, I've been a demonstrator for 22 years, and I think I have seen every one of these colors. So they didn't, for the first several years, they didn't change out colors. Uh, Riding Hood Red. Did I pull that one in? I think that one's very, very um, brown. So I didn't even consider that one. Riding Hood Red. And since we're on reds, we'll pull in this one too. So there's Riding Hood Red. But yeah, very more on the, the brown, warm, really warm side. Um, raspberry Ripple, very pinkish, purplish. So, and then what's this one? I'm seeing another one. Oh, purely pomegranate's definitely not close to it either. <laughs> Chocolate and alcohol. Oh, those are triggers for your flashes. Okay, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Giant blushes. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing. I don't think so. I think we got through them all. So I want to make sure that you are aware of these beautiful colors that can be in your hands starting May 3rd or earlier if you're a demonstrator already. If you're a demonstrator, you can get your hands on all these fun goodies um, with the pre-order going on right now. So, um, and if you're not a demonstrator, you can be one. You can just, uh, you know, connect with your demonstrator that you currently have and um, ask them for a link so that you can purchase a starter kit from them. If you do not have a demonstrator, you can visit my blog at stampyourartout.com. Click on the join um, menu and you can read about my community and also purchase the starter kit and get on, on the pre-order. Um, and later on, because I don't have much current right now, but later on you can also shop from my website if you're interested. And I keep mentioning Facebook, so I might as well pull this on. Um, here we have we have a Facebook page that you can visit me at and um, stamp your art out with Rachel. Hopefully the live was going on there. I did not see any Facebook comments though on my, usually I see the Facebook comments on this and my YouTube comments on my desktop. So it might not, might not have connected. I might have to do like a, a download and an upload. All right. I will let you all go. I'm glad you had a great time. Um, I had a great time. So I'm going to say farewell to all of you. Tomorrow I will be live. Oh, and I do want to mention two other things. Tomorrow I will be live um, at 11 a.m. Central Time here on my channel. Um, I'll be sharing a card with a technique. This technique is called the floating element technique. Um, so hopefully you'll come back and visit me then. And I do have... Um, a couple sales to tell you about. So let me quick scoot over to Stamp and Storage. In about six minutes, Stamp and Storage is going to have a sale, and that sale is going to be for a couple days. I want to say today through the eighth. Yeah, let's you know, don't quote me on it because I memorized it right before I went live. 
and I, now I'm not sure if I memorized it right. But the 5th, which is today, 6th, 7th, 8th, they'll be having 10% off and free shipping on $100 orders or more. And then we also have um, the Country Hive, which I want to remark on because the Country Hive is um, a business run by a demonstrator in my group and her husband. And they have some fun 3D printed um, storage and tool items that will work in your craft room as well. So great places to visit if you need crafting tools, crafting storage, Country Hive and Stampin' Storage. Um, if you purchased from Country Hive in the month of March, you have some kind of deal that you can use on your order in April. And the one thing that I want to say is that they're going to be doing some fun stuff with these little blending brushes, markers. They have white ones um, and we can color them with our blends. I'm so excited. So yeah, that's how they go. They go on the blending brushes. So fun stuff. You'll want to check that out. And if you're not um, familiar with this page on my website, I have a favorites page. Um, you just go under the shop menu and you click on my favorite extras. And when you go here, you can see lots of fun goodies that I recommend either from Amazon, Stampin' Storage, The Country Hive, um, Etsy. There's like a, um, a couple things on there that are like just stuff that I like and um, just wanted you to know that they're all in one place. So if you wanted to find all of those goodies, you can go to that page and click on those things to make purchases. So thank you, everybody. Have a great day. We will maybe see some of you tomorrow. Now I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. Bye bye.